Yo, let's get right into it. It's time for your TLC Hiking Club Weekly Vid Clip for the week of July 30th. Okay, let's get right into it, guys. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out on the trail, a good couple weeks. I'm so looking forward to getting out on Saturday, August the 4th uh, for the Seven Cataracts Hike. Now, let's talk about this. First of all, uh, I know that some people don't read all the write-ups and they don't listen to the vid clips. And it kind of leaves them a little lost. Uh, first thing, Seven Cataracts is not Seven Falls. I get asked that quite frequently. No, not the case. Totally two different, way different hikes. Seven Cataracts is actually not an actual trail. It's a goat trail, a use trail, multi-use trail at best. Um, and when we are dropping in, when we get there to our drop-in point, uh, there's going to be some people that, are, that may think twice about this hike, and that's why I'm trying to put these warnings out there. Um, the steepness of our drop-in is a little bit steeper than flat iron. If you've ever done flat iron, which is at about a 58 to 60 percent grade, and I think our drop-in is at about a 61 or 62 percent according to some of the uh, numbers that I have uh, retrieved from some other hikers that have done seven cataracts before. We've done it last year. Um, so please know these warnings. Um, this hike is not for everyone. Yes, it is short, so it kind of you know leads you to believe it's more of a moderate hike and it really kind of is except for the fear factor that will be put on this. Um, and, you know, not really having it as a designated trail. Um, so our drop-in, uh, right off the road, uh, and we're going to be coming down into some scree shoots and some talus shoots. Um, it's going to be a fun time, and if you can get past the fear factor of it. Um, I'm still wearing shorts. You are going to be filthy. Um, even after we swim there, because we still got to come back up from where we dropped in at. So by the end of the hike, you're going to be you're going to be filthy. You're going to be covered in dirt. Uh, so know that um, for your travels back to the Phoenix area, you may want to bring a towel to sit on in the vehicle, you know, type of thing. Maybe some wipes to wash yourself off once you get back to the vehicle. Um, you're going to be dirty. Uh, gloves. Uh, I'm wearing gloves, uh, you know, with all the surgeries I've had on my fingers. I wear gloves for almost every hike, but, you know, you guys might really want to think about wearing some gloves for this particular hike. It's going to be a wonderful time. Now, here's the, the optional part of this hike. Um, when we travel, after our drop-in and we're traveling down canyon, uh, about halfway down that canyon, we're going to be making a right, go up these uh, waterfalls. Uh, it's a little bit of rock climbing, class four rock climbing um, that's involved uh, to, to we get to our swimming hole. Um, once we come back from the swimming hole, if we were just to continue down canyon another 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna be at the Sycamore Reservoir, which is a really cool place to go. Most people come in from a different trailhead to go to Sycamore Reservoir, which was the reservoir that fed the old prison way back in the day, some sort of prison camp that was out there. Uh, so nonetheless, um, i just trying to put the warnings out there because we did have a, a gal last year that went on this hike. She got up to the edge and said, look, there is no way in heck that I'm dropping down in that. She was scared. And uh, so if you're afraid of heights, you may want to opt out of this hike. I'm just trying to be woeful of the safety for everyone out there. Um, also, uh, and I'll be going over this the morning of the hike, is how to properly descend and ascend such a thing so we're not kicking talus and scree onto one another, uh, which can also be dangerous. So I'm going to need everybody's attention when we descend and ascend on the amount of distance we need to keep between each other, uh, to keep an eye out uh, on rocks that are coming down as we're descending. Uh, so there is a little bit of a danger factor in that. As you all know, I give ample enough warnings 
uh, and, and rightfully so. I need and want to keep everyone safe, number one priority, okay? Uh, but do know this hike is fun. Uh, it, you will have a smile on your face uh, the whole way. It, it's wait till you get there. It's going to be a blast. So um, I have been putting some other hikes out there uh, through the winter time. Um, uh, so you know I, I am going to continue putting a plethora of hikes out there. Oh, I knew it was something I want to talk to you about. Um, Labor Day weekend. Get your reservations in for the staycation event over at the Arizona Grand. Yes, I am doing a hike that Saturday, DC Canyon, uh, Old Man Trail. Um, that's early, early Saturday morning, but Saturday night and Sunday night, Labor Day weekend, staycation event, the social type of gathering. We do this every year. Uh, we'd like to see more people opting in for this. Uh, what normally costs four hundred and fifty dollars, you know, during the on peak season, uh, I think they run a special at one hundred nineteen, hundred twenty nine dollars a night. They got the water park, swim up bars, blah 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 blah, on site daycare, uh, phenomenal time. If you've ever been there, then you know this place packs in for that weekend. It's a blast. You don't want to miss it. So please. Uh, get your reservations made for that. Also, moving on into the October event for Antelope Canyon. Uh, I'm not sure where you all are at with making your reservations for that particular trip. That's going to be a blast as well. Uh, fitting, you know, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight different trips into a small weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, get out there, get your reservations in. Uh, I think the majority of my hikes kind of pick up uh, in December, November. Um, you know, I think I'm only running one hike in the month of November. Uh, but Tom Highland, T2, welcome him to the organizer group. Uh, we do have his first hike to Vultures Peak on the calendar. Hopefully we can get him on there for more hikes as well. Um, and I have got a few other potential organizers that are coming in uh, to lead a few hikes here and there as well. So with that said, hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a productive week, and we will see you for the Seven Cataracts hike. Oh, if you found yourself on the waiting list and you want to go, email me. I, I need to know some of your capabilities before I allow you to attend this hike because of the, some of the danger and the fear factors that are involved. Um, I, I need, you know, and some of you that don't put your interest on there, like I know what other clubs you're hiking in or limited pictures, uh, it, it makes it difficult for me to know what your capabilities are. Are you in rock climb climbing clubs? Are you in mountaineering clubs? You know, uh, the extent of your capabilities. Uh, I understand the privacy portion of it, but uh, when I'm running these more difficult, adventurous type of hikes and I find you on the waiting list, it helps me to determine whether or not you know you can maybe handle this kind of a hike or not if I can see some of your other interests. If I don't, I'm going to email you. I'm going to ask you for a little bit of a resume. Give me some hikes that you've done. Maybe, it could, you know, based upon those type of hikes and how you felt about them, I'll be able to get you in. Uh, I'm rambling on. My apologies. It's been a while since I've spoke with you guys. Like I said, have a productive week. See you.